What's up everybody, Parker here. I have an amazing trick for you today showing you how to set up report page tooltips over any visual that you want. As you may know, you can only currently set up report page tooltips over certain built-in visuals, but this trick allows you to set them up over custom visuals or any visual you really want. Um, so shout out to my wife for figuring this out. It's an amazing trick, so I figured I would share it with the world. For example, in this report, you can hover over my image and you have this nice report page tooltip that pops out or really any uh, area in this top visual, the same report page tooltip is showing. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set up a report page tooltip over an image or other custom visuals. Um, and let's go ahead and dive into that. I have another page where I have this image and just to show you, this is the image custom visual from the marketplace. So by default, you can't set up a report page tooltip because in the formatting options, it doesn't have a tooltip option. So let me go ahead and show you uh, how report page tooltips work for a built-in visual. So I have another tab here, and if I scroll down, um, I have a matrix as well. So you see in this matrix, um, I have report page tooltips set up. So it's uh, firing on this alternate words tooltip. So you can see it works by default. And if we click on this matrix visual, we see that it has a tooltip section. And this tooltip section allows us to specify the report page tooltip. So going back to our example, we see that our image custom visual does not have this tooltip field. Um, so we can't set up a report page tooltip by default. So this is where the workaround comes into play. And in case you need to learn how to set up a report page tooltip, um, a default report page tooltip, make sure you check out my previous video that I will link in the description. Um, so setting up our report page tooltip over this image, we are gonna do that by uh, setting up a card here. Let's just make a card that is about the same size as our image because it's going to be overlaid on top of the image. That looks good. And then we need to throw a field into this card. So I'm gonna make a measure. It's not really gonna mean anything. Uh, let's call it uh, report tooltip. I'm gonna set that equal to just blank. So I don't really need anything in there right now. I'm gonna throw that into our field and we see we have blank here. I'm gonna turn off the category label. So now we just have the value of blank. So we can set up a tooltip on this card by turning tooltip on and we'll expand it. And we will set the tooltip type to report page. And then the page we want is our level tooltip, which is this tooltip. So now when you hover over blank, it's going to show that level tooltip. So that's really cool. But notice that it only shows it when you're hovering over the actual words of blank not any of the white space. So we can expand our value a little bit. Um, we can actually change this report page tooltip to just some letters that can take up the entire container of the card. Uh, so actually I did some testing and the best way to do that is with W's. So we want W's separated by a space. So if we just throw that in there, we now have these W's. Let's go ahead and copy that um, many more times so we can fill up the entire card. So now we have something that looks like that. That's pretty good. Um, so now when we hover over any of the W's, we are going to have this report page tooltip. Uh, so that's really cool. So now if we throw it on top of the image, we now have these W's all over the image, so that looks pretty bad. So we can do a little uh, trick here. If we turn our data label to white, we see that's still not gonna work. Even though that looks invisible when it's over here, on our picture, it still looks pretty bad. We need to make those completely transparent. And that's actually really easy to do with the new conditional formatting. Um, so what we need to do is we need to create a new measure. I am just gonna call this uh, transparent. And it's really easy, just one text string. It's hash uh, FFF FFF00. This is the hex code for transparent white. Really, you could use any color with 00, zero at the end because if you had, let's say, blue with 00, zero at the end, it would be transparent blue, which is still just transparent. So click enter there. And then finally, in our data label, we can go to color and conditional formatting. And we can format by field value and based on our new measure called transparent. Click OK. And now our W's are transparent, but they're still there. So we can hover over these W's 
and we now have our report page tooltip over our image. So this can work over uh, any visual you want, any custom visual you want. Actually, you don't even need a visual at all. You can just throw in this card anywhere, any blank space with our transparent text, and you can show a report page tooltip of your choosing. So I hope you got something out of this video. If you liked the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.